How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the episode of Fish Day TX. Today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. We're heading out to Lake Travis in the morning. Normally when we head out there, it is kind of like a mid afternoon and then we fish late into the evening kind of session. Well, this time I'm getting all the stuff prepared today in the afternoon and then we're getting up super, super early and we're heading out in the morning. The reason we're doing this is because tomorrow morning and the beginning of the afternoon, the weather is supposed to be really, really good, low pressure, but then later in the day, a high pressure front is coming in. It'll probably shut the bite off pretty good. So we're gonna try and take advantage of this low pressure front while we can. The plan for right now is to get up around four o'clock in the morning and then head out there and do some light fishing like we normally do. But rather than do it at night, we're gonna do it early in the morning and then the sun will come up and we'll do fishing as usual. There is a slight chance of rain, but I don't think it will affect things much. I think more or less it's just gonna be kind of overcast, low pressure, the bite should be on. Before we get to fishing as well, I'm gonna go ahead and address something that I've been getting a lot of questions about recently. And that is what I am throwing. A lot of times I'll end up making these videos and I kind of just go through the motions and do my fishing. Fishing. Well, I've had a lot of you guys asking recently what I throw when I got these style legs. So here it is right here. This is kind of my late Travis one, two punch, if you will. First off, this little red square bill. This thing right here is a universal crusher at pretty much anywhere that has dirtier water. Lake Travis, where we fishing tomorrow actually is pretty clean, but for the most part, I fished the upper part of the lake and the upper part has stained water. So this little red square bill is fantastic for it, but it's great for the whole lake in general because the reason I love it is because I will fish it right up against the banks. The banks have tons of rocks and stick ups. It's perfect because I can just bang it and bounce it into things. It makes a lot of noise and commotion and the fish absolutely love it. That is my pretty much go-to moving bait. If I'm throwing a moving bait, pretty much 90% of the time, it's going to be this guy. I'll also throw moving baits like little paddle tail swim baits and Alabama rigs, but you don't see me throwing those as much, especially during the day. Now my other go-to lure, and this is pretty much my bread and butter for like Travis, this is the go-to bait if I had to choose one I can only fish with one this is my guy right here just a tiny little Ned rig I have it rigged up on a 1 4 ounce jig head of a little uh, weed guard so it doesn't get stuck in the rocks as easily this thing is an absolute fish crushing machine pretty much anytime I throw this thing on any part of the lake it gets eaten and it gets eaten a lot. I have many, many days and many times I hear where I catch well over a hundred fish in a day on this Ned rig. And I'm sure you'll see it in this video again, it is a very, very successful lure out here. And it's just, if you're gonna throw any kind of bottom lure, you can catch fish on a wide variety of them out here. If you wanna catch the most fish and even big ones too, I've caught some really good sized fish on this Ned rig. It's going to the Ned rig, man. This thing is just crazy. It catches them like no other. And I absolutely love it. Also throw little things like drop shots and stuff like that. I've also got a little popper tied on. That's kind of my usual things I throw out on LT. Just wanna let you guys know that because I've had a lot of comments and questions about it recently. If you're going to fish like Travis anytime soon, those lures are recommend tying on. But with that, I'm going to continue to get my rods rigged up and then get ready to head out tomorrow morning where we're hopefully going to absolutely freaking crush them. All right, just got the boat in the water heading down right now. There's some kind of tournament going on, looks like, because I mean, we're out here early as hell on a Wednesday morning and there's already like 10 boats here. So some kind of local tournament going on. We're going to hustle though get down and hopefully fish a few lights when the sun comes up. I don't think it'd be much of a problem just due to the fact that we got so many spots here. We should be good. If, if fish anything like did the other day, we should be looking really, really good. So we're gonna hustle out to our first spot. We'll meet you folks there. Dude, there's so, do you see how many there are? Oh my God. All right, there's the first light. And there's about a, yeah, there's about a hundred thousand fish sitting here. Watch this, see if we can go first cast. Probably first cast. Got one following me. Yeah. Yep, first cast. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, first cast. <laughs> Double up on the first cast in the morning. That's like a two and a half, three pounder. Nothing better than doubling up on some quality largies in the very first cast in the morning. You got a largie or a white bass. White bass. We got a white bass and a largie to start the morning off. That right there is why you get yourself out of bed in the morning. That spooked them off pretty quick, but there'll still be some down deep. And also, they'll probably just be on the other side. Got one again. That back to that cast. Yeah. Back to that cast to start the morning off. Oh, there's one. There's a good size one. Oh, I'm getting crushed. I had two follow me up all the way to the boat. Oh, that's a good large one. Is it? Yeah, mine was a pretty solid one. Yeah. Oh, he crushed it. There we go. There's a whitey. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. That's so fun. Hell yeah, my first white bass. Let's get it. 
There's still so many more. Yeah, Pierce is two for two on Cass. I'm two for four. Make that three. Oh, he popped off. Dang it, got a little too excited. There's a little bit of rain right there. Got a light sprinkle going on. It's like 70 degrees. Some nice weather right now. Oh, we ate it right next to the boat. Come on, bro. I keep just like swiping at the tail. Had a lot of bites, so only two fish. All right, heading over to the next dock right now. There's still some fish on there, but not, you know, in huge quantities. So we're gonna try and get a few more easy ones picked off of here. A lot of bites and follow-ups, but so far four fish in the boat. That was money. I don't visually see them, but they're there. That's a fatty, jeez. Fatty white bass, hell yeah. Pierce's got a fatty largey. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Okay. A little rain shower never hurt nobody. Look, he feels pretty nice. If it was cold, I'd be pissed, but it's not cold, so it's whatever. You know what, that being said, I probably should close my camera bag. Oh yeah, I don't feel a thing now. It literally just stopped raining. It was so peaceful and nice and out of nowhere, like 30 mile an hour winds just hit us and now it's starting to pour again. Golly, what the hell? It was so peaceful and nice and now it is freaking miserable. Look at these clouds, holy That's crazy looking. This is not supposed to last very long, so we'll be fine, it'll blow over, but my God, we got a hell of a storm coming on. I'm glad we already caught a few fish. I don't really want to run in this weather, if I'm being honest, especially in my small boat. So we're gonna come up to a dock over here and kind of tie up for a second. Just kind of wait for this to pass a little bit because it's not supposed to be that bad for long. Like there's not supposed to be any rain by like nine o'clock. All right, we just hopped up underneath this dock. We got some pretty rough weather coming in. Uh, there, there, was, there were thunderstorms predicted this morning, but they were supposed to say north of us and they didn't. They never broke up like the weather service predicted. So there's still some people out trying to fish right now. I mean, yeah, bro, I ain't trying to do it. This, you can't effectively fish it. Bro. No, 100%. And there, there's a tournament going on this morning, so I think that's kind of why they're just trying to fish that tournament, which, you know, props to them. But we're out here just fishing for fun. Uh, I mean, uh, in a tracker bass boat, I ain't trying to mess around with this. Literally white pants. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's brutal. We're not going out in this. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit safer of a captain than some of these other people are. She's coming down just a little bit, huh? I am so happy we are standing right here. All right, starting to let up. We're seeing some blue skies. We look over here. We still got some rain for sure. What we might do here in a second is make a run over to a calmer cove. He's one of the main lakes. One reason why it's so rough right now. We might make a run to a calmer cove and try to seek some shelter over there. Andor might be able to fish because the Cove will block out most of the wind. Alrighty, we back on the boat. We're gonna haul ass this cove across because it's gonna be a lot calmer over there. So we're gonna make a quick run. We'll see you guys when we get there. This right here is why I wanted to come back in a cove arm because it's just glass. Get this massive bank that protects us from the wind and other elements. We're gonna fish back through here for probably about an hour or so, and then we'll head out to some of the better spots in the main lake. There we go. That's actually a flash. Little guadi. Or is it a little large? Uh, no, it's a glod. It's a tiny glod. It's a really light one. There is my first fish, not on the light. Absolute toad. See you later, bud. There's a fish. There we go. Little bigger one. God, I ripped his ass out of there, didn't I? There we go. That's number ten. I guess it doesn't even matter. This is just a this is a brand, just brand new random spot we're fishing to avoid the storm, and right away we already got four. 
I don't feel like it's gonna be a good day, it's huh? Like I know. It really is. We're just fishing random spots. I mean, this looks good, obviously. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks good. But, like, we're not even we're not even close to the juicy spots <laughs> that I plan on fishing later in the day. There's a little fish. <laughs> yeah, when I meant little, I really meant he was little. The spot we're going to, we'll catch a ton. We caught so many the other night. Little guad special. I'm sure there's more up here too. That's back to back. It's a little better fish, I think. Largey. Not really better though. Why'd I do that? I'm still counting that because I was just playing with him. <laughs> Number 12. Back to that kiss. Man, he was like a pound. I thought, when I saw the hook, he felt like he was a little bigger. Damn, there's a lot of fish up in this little pocket here. There we go. Got him. Dude, there's so many up here. God. Good grief. A little better, Largy. Number 13. That's a bite on four casts in a row. Three fish and four casts. That's a fish. God. That's a solid one, too, dude. Two pounder? Yeah. For sure. Let's go. He ate it and ran right at the boat. See, the fish, the water's still pretty warm. The water's warmer than the outside areas. These fish are warm. Yeah, it's probably close to two pounds. Great one, Flight Travis. All right, thank you, buddy. See you later. It's 15. There we go. There we go. Very first cast of the crankbait. That's a good fish, too. Oh, good fish, good fish, good fish. Come on, buddy. I got him. Yes, sir. First cast with a square bill. Solid fish. I mean, not even a huge fish, but it's a really, really nice fight by him. So sweet, dude. Another one. First one coming on the square bill. Because it, it's steep right here, but I guess here and it gets gradual. So it's kind of not what I was looking for. I'm not to say there's probably not some fish through here. I'm sure there is, but. Wait, there's a fish. I literally didn't even. Ooh, big quad. That's a big, look how big this quad is. There we are. Number that is 18, I think. Solid Guadalupe, really pretty, dude. The thing is, they See, bud. They so yeah, low key. There's a fish. All right, maybe we'll stay for a little longer. God dang, <laughs> so bad. His face is like bruised from that hook set. Sorry, bud. Really wailed into that little largemouth. Another fish. No, I just hooked that. What? Dude, how did I hook that? I thought it was a quad. That's just a normal little sunfish. How did I hook that? I'm shocked. That's where, look how little its mouth is. How in the world did I actually manage to hook that? Like, that's a tiny little sunfish. That's technically back to that cast right there. That fish is technically number 20, but we're not going to be counting that. End of the day, we'll say however many bass we caught plus one sunfish. Mm -hmm. Another fish. The guads are out to play just like last time. Another one. This is a largey or gold? It's a largey. A little largey. These right here really are the LT special. <laughs> the tiny largemouth and the tiny guads. They're still fish though, so we love them. 21. Yeah, how many times? There we go. Another largey. Woo! Be feisty. Dude, look at the spots in this dude's head. That's cool. Yeah, that was a pretty fish. All the melanosis. All right, I, I knew it was coming. Because <laughs> he was like slowly building his energy up and then he, then he got going. There we are. It's a pretty fish. Just tore my fingers to shreds. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, look how little he is. He's so small. 23. Absolute stud. Like, Pierce, isn't that what we come out here for? Oh, absolutely. These right here? That's what we wake up at 5 for. Oh yeah, 100%. This is what gets me out of bed in the morning. Studs like this one. You see that joke? Go in. 
Hang on. There we go, got that one. Dude, that's a quad. That's a big quad. It's <laughs> a massive quad. Just got bit the cast before. Come back and we get this guy. Really, really solid quad. That's a big boy right there. I think it's 24 or 5 now. Slater fish. Man, I won't lie, guys. We've struggled this spot a little bit, especially considering how good it was the other day. That was, I mean, we've had probably five bites or so now. Obviously, I just went and missed on a fish the cast before that, too. But uh, I'm a little disappointed. The spot's not fishing nearly as good as it was just a couple days ago. That being said, that we found some other spots that are fishing good, so we can go back to that pattern later. But glad to finally get on the board right here and get ourselves a pretty solid Guadalupe. It looks like a fish. I knew it. I thought I saw one and I did. Let's go. That was so cool. Just sight fished him. He was sitting up on that rock. I thought I saw him and then I dropped it off the rock and he went following after it. There we go. 26. See you, girl. There he is. Got him that time. All right, we'll count him. <laughs> Little annoying quad. 28. guys the weather has gone through so many different changes today got out here and it was cold raining and storming then it got a little warmer and it was beautiful sunny and I cloud in the sky and now a bunch of clouds have moved back in it's all cloudy once again been out here for like five hours and we've seen just drastic weather changes within that time it's pretty crazy yeah I'm trying to drop shot for a minute not necessarily because the Ned wasn't working just because I want to try and switch it up and see if the drop shot will work just as well, not a little better. There's a fish very first cast with it. Yep, that's number 30. It's a good largie. Oh, solid largie. Jesus. Oh, I think I got him, but that's a good one, dude. That's a really nice one. Let's go. Yes, sir. Especially for out here, you know, that's a great fish. Fat butter ball. It's probably two and a half, I would say. Just due to how fat this fish is. Beautiful. Literally, first cast the drop shot. We already got a nice fish, so I think we might as well stick of it for just a little while. See you later, friend. Ooh, nice squad, bro. Like a really nice squad. Dude, that's probably one of my biggest squads ever. We've caught a lot of big quads today. Another Guadalupe, we've caught a lot of these guys today. This is a very solid one right here though. Number 33. See you, friend. There we go. It's a little better one. Dude, it's another nice Guadalupe. God, there's a lot of quads around here. <laughs> Just crazy. Dude, it's another big Guadalupe. Sweet, dude, that is number 36, I think. Still catching them, big old guads. I did not know that. 50 yards. Is that a fish? Nah, it's a snag. Okay, so there's no way. 50 yards? Okay. Or is that a fish? It is a fish. <laughs> he was snagged up. <laughs> yeah, there's like some rope on my lure. 37. There we go, there's another one. It's been a minute low key since we've caught a large mouth. <laughs> there's just so many Guadalupe's. See ya. If we went out, I have a fish over you right now. <laughs> number 40, frantic catch there for number 40. 4-0. Here's a fish. 
Well, we switch spots and we get more or less the same. <laughs> you can run and you can hide, but you'll never escape the quads. Ah. There's one right there. And what do you know? It's a Guadalupe. Another Guadalupe. Ugh. It's not. That's 15 in a row. The last large drop I caught was on the drop shot. It's about to go third here in a minute. They're gorgeous. Just not very big. All right, let's try to find some large bites to get in here. Yeah, that is fish right there. Yep. That's a large Let's go. That's a good one, too. Holy. Yeah, I grabbed the nest. It's probably like a three. Maybe not that. Uh, it might go three. There we go. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Man, that breaks a 16 in a row Guadalupe streak. That's probably, yeah. It's probably close to a three pounder, I would say. Number 46. There's a guy down there who took the spot I was going to fish, so we moved down here a little bit in the second cast. Got ourselves one. There we go. Beautiful fish. That breaks a 16 in a row Guadalupe bass streak. <laughs> nice to get another largemouth. Really quality one at that too. Come on the drop shot. Hell yeah, dude. See you later, girl. Uh-oh. Hang on. There we go. Nope, it's a largey. It's a little smaller one. 47 now. Staying on that largemouth trend. Third large mouth in a row. That's good, dude. Third large mouth in a row right there. That is, I think, 48. There it goes. There we go. Nice. This could be a good finish, Loki. I don't know. Yep, I like that net. This is probably the best one of the day. Oh, baby. Yes. Sir, it's a nice fish. Yeah, dude, that's a chunk. Let's go. 49, and it's that's a toad. Really solid, healthy female. Freaking chunkers. Solid two pounder, two and a half, I'd say. All day. This is what we've been looking for. This is really the kind of fish we've been searching for. And it's really nice that here, kind of towards the end of our day, we're finding them. Really nice bite off that point. A bunch of stick ups against some grass. Coming on the drop shot. Just love to see it. See you later, girl. Golly. This is like, like, really? This is the one time the bite shuts off? I mean, this is when, this is when it was supposed to shut off, anyways. Because <laughs> the pressure is probably over 30 now. It's just like, God, dude, we need one more. Uh, <laughs> oh. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Decent largey, bro, what? That's how you end a day right there. Pops right on out, number 50. We did wow, it. we did it. 50 fish. The conditions were incredible this morning, but the pressure has rise by almost an entire degree. It's now over 30. Let's get him back. Oh man, the conditions have gotten really rough and tough. It's bluebird skies once again, really windy, high pressure. Oh man, we did it. It's currently 441. We started fishing this morning at 630. That'll do it though. Let's freaking go. What an incredible day of fishing. 50 fish. All right made it back to the car I'm gonna make this outro pretty short and sweet because i'm freaking exhausted but man yet again what a freaking day 50 fish out here on travis spectacular don't know what else i can say we caught a lot more guadalupe than i definitely expected we caught so many 1.16 in a row but we also caught some really quality largemouth 
on top of that honestly the craziest thing about today was all the weather changes that happened i mean we went from cloudy to slightly raining to storming to unbelievably storming to then clear to then cloudy and storming again to then clear to then cloudy to then clear then now kind of getting back cloudy again so a lot of changes the pressure also continued to rise throughout the day so the fishing got slower and slower but regardless we still caught a ton of fish and man i had a blast while doing so really hope you guys are enjoying the content if you are remember to go down below and subscribe as well as go follow me over on instagram all that like i said is linked in the description yeah what another incredible day on travis we'll have many more to come stay tuned for more future episodes out here on lake travis i will see you guys next time back out on the water